WKWC 90.3 Panther Radio. What's going on, everyone? It is currently 54 degrees Fahrenheit. We're here on the campus of Kentucky Wesleyan College in Owensboro, Kentucky, to be able to discuss and talk a little bit about not only the support that the radio station WKWC is actually receiving uh, this year as one of our five nonprofit organizations, but also the support that we have received for many years from 90.3 FM uh, in uh, driving through Panther Creek Park, uh, especially during the month of December and, and enjoying uh, everything that the, the sounds and the, of the holiday season. It's always been a, a great relationship and, and uh, between uh, the Davis County Parks Department uh, and uh, WKWC. And, and so we're very pleased to not only be able to receive their support, but also be able to uh, support them uh, in their mission. Uh, uh, to be able to educate the students and give them this opportunity uh, through Christmas at Panther Creek, again, as one of our five nonprofit uh, agencies. Uh, I've been here now 15 years. It didn't take me very long to see that Panther Creek Park needed something else to provide music out there. They had a, a little FM transmitter out there that was playing music, and, which was great. And I, and I heard the information and stuff, but I thought, what if a local station did that and promoted the event, getting people from around the community, around the area to hear it in Owensboro to go out there. And so I reached out and the rest they say is history and we love playing the music. Our Christmas music is a lot like the station. It's very eclectic, with, but it, it's recognizable too. It's fun. And uh, so we're, we're proud to be a part of that for as long as we have. We finish up the 80s with Silent Night by Stevie Nicks. I hope you enjoyed that song again. Shout out to Grandma. We provide, you know, something different. We're a mix station. We play just about everything. Like, there's music that we play now that we didn't play three years ago. And Derek comments it on all the time. He goes, this wasn't us three years ago. We've changed a lot over the past three years and just what we play alone, right? And so what I'm hoping the exposure does is just greatly increases, you know, listenership and, you know, interest maybe coming to Kentucky Wesley and being a part of the radio station. You're listening to DJ Reed's Rewind. I volunteer as a DJ. I come on. I, you know, play the music. I, during breaks, I talk about so a couple of advertisements for this station. I talk about what's going on in the community. Uh, and then I talk about my favorite part of the show, which is the weather. I love talking about the weather, mostly complaining about it, but I love talking about it too. Um, and I will add in songs and, you know, do that thing. But I mostly do a show. I do a classic rewind show. So for the entirety of my show, I will play classic music from a specific decade uh, for each set. Uh, and I'll take song requests, you know, I'll try to interact with the community as much as possible. The overall vision has never changed. When we signed on, it was a community-based license, community-focused, community-minded. We're talking Owensboro. We're talking Davis County. Our mission statement is to be a viable radio station for the community while training future young broadcasters, as we've done so since 1983. Uh, you're getting to push the buttons, you're getting to talk on the microphone, you're getting to see what it uh, uh, looks like to run a station and to have a show and to DJ and, and all that fun stuff. So uh, while it is it is fun and, and we encourage students to have that, that experience, uh, it's more of, of really preparing them for what it's like to, to work in a real environment. It's a good opportunity for students to experience um, media in, in, in kind of the, the world that we live in with, with digital technology and things like that. Because uh, beyond just the radio station, we also have uh, mobile apps. And, and uh, more recently, we, we got on to the Amazon Alexa. Um, and so, you know, we're really kind of exploring those other digital features uh, that, that students are interested in and engaged on uh, in, in ways to, to really promote not just our program here at Kentucky Wesleyan, but the college as a whole. When I arrived, Derek asked if uh, I wanted to do a radio show, and I said, certainly. So once a week, almost once a week, I, I come in and I, I, what I try to do is interview different people, both on campus and off campus. I try to get a student perspective, administration perspective, faculty perspective, and just talk about different things at Kentucky Wesleyan College and try to draw out for the community how things are going here. And I love having a true conversation just to be able to hear the programming that goes out over the air to people to give them the information about the campus, about what's going on, and, and to be able to share. We I talked in a couple of segments about how we try to share information with the community and it's so important to do that. This gives us one of the best opportunities. But beyond that, you have students who are working in the radio station from all different uh, majors and all different 
academic and athletic walks of life on, on the campus and for them to be able to come together and, and pick up a skill that they probably did not realize they could do. Uh, and, and a skill where they don't have to go into media when they leave, but it will give them the confidence once they are gone to go into just about anything else. Your support of the, of the radio station for the support we're getting on Giving Tuesday, what we are helping is really to make sure that for the next generation of, of students coming through, we get to give them the exact same type of educational experience that current students are now seeing. I am grateful for the donations that we get, for the people who are supporting the college, and, and for the, the students especially who have gone away and realize the importance the college had on them and continue to be uh, attached to the campus. To say thank you uh, to the community for keeping the station thriving um, for as long as it has since 1983, but also during a pandemic. College radio stations str have been struggling the last couple of years, and we've been thriving pretty decent uh, with growth and underwriting and support from the community and um, and also the money raised the, the, from the underwriting and events like this, 100 percent of that stays right here in this radio station for equipment, uh, microphones, in, or repairs. That was just such a, a wonderful opportunity for us to get connected with the community. That, that's a part of what our general manager Derek Hancock and I talk a lot about is, is how local radio survives as being local, supporting the, the, the nonprofits and being a part of the community. And so what better way to connect with Panther Creek and, and, and the light show that, that happens every year at Christmas time. And, and being a college station, it gives us the flexibility to kind of adjust our programming a little bit, uh, to, to be a little more different at, at different times and, and do some special programming. And one of the things that he and I talked a lot about was you know, pr uh, promoting Panther Creek, but also being kind of the, the radio station to supply the music. You know, well, what better time than, than to be able to, to have an opportunity for cars to anytime they come in through, through the park at, uh, to see the light show, uh, to tune into the radio station and, and kind of get a neat Christmas uh, audio soundtrack uh, for, for their drive through. Christmas at Panther Creek is open nightly from 6 to 9 p.m. through the 2nd of January. Obviously, it's $5 per vehicle, so we'd certainly encourage you to be able to to be able to find the biggest vehicle you can and load it full of people for $5 and to be able to get to enjoy uh, everything that, that Christmas at Panther Creek has, has come to be able to, to stand for over the last 18 years. And certainly to be able to tune in your radio stations to 90.3 FM WKWC to be able to enjoy uh, the sounds of the holidays, especially while visiting Christmas at Panther Creek.